today on Karamo. Co-workers have Larry convinced his wife is cheating. Rumors of her sneaking me into my man cave, cooking breakfast for him. And you said you saw a porn of her. It's a whole video. Could it actually be true? It's not right. I should have to go through all of this to prove something to my husband. Are you ready for this? Yep. The truth is about to be unlocked. And you won't believe what happens. Plus, so he was married when you all got together. Yeah, he still is married. And he still hasn't divorced his wife, and it's been six, six years. years. What will happen to this couple? This is the final straw. After the whole truth comes out. Oh, that was my best friend. Hey, friends. So this Saturday, my guest Crystal and her husband will be celebrating their 15th wedding anniversary. Or will they? You see, Crystal reached out for my help proving her innocence and says there's only one way to prove it. We unlocked her phone. Everyone, welcome Crystal to the show. Hi, Crystal. How are you Hi. doing? Can you have a hug? Nice, to, Hi, meet nice to meet you. Please take well. a seat. So, Crystal, before we hear your side of this story, I want to take a look at a message that Larry left. I started getting suspicious phone calls about my wife, Crystal. One man claimed my wife was sleeping with my best friend. Ever since then, my wife been playing all kinds of games. My coworkers told me that Crystal was having an affair with one of their friends, sneaking them in my man cave, sneaking them in my house, cooking breakfast for them and everything. They even showed me a porn video on Reddit and my wife's the star. I have no reason to be confrontational to another man. So when I get home, I ask my wife directly. But Krista always giving me crazy attitude. She snaps at me when I ask her simple questions. She even had me in her phone as the devil. Karamo, I need you to unlock Krista's phone. I know you can help find the truth about my wife. Not the devil, Crystal. Gotta be the devil. <laughs> I've been married to this man going on 15 years on Saturday. Yeah, and congratulations of that, first of all. <laughs> Thank but, you. But I do see the issues here. How does that make you feel knowing that he's accusing you? It's not right. I've given this man my all. This is my husband, my mm -hmm. best friend. Yeah. To say that I'm cheating, I've never cheated on him. I have no reason to cheat on him. I love him. So why was it important for you to unlock your phone? To prove to him that I've done nothing to him. Mm -hmm. I've never done anything to this man. But once something gets in his head, it's there. It's no taking it out. He believes it. Mm -hmm. When he gets off work and I get off work, we're together all the time. Mm -hmm. How do I have time to do any of these things? Y'all a cute couple, though. Thank you. Yeah. What happened with his friend? Somebody called him and told him I was sleeping with his friend. I'm going to tell you about that. So Larry told me about his friend. His friend was married. He told me his friend was sleeping with a married woman. Mm -hmm. So that part we know. But I'm not the damn married woman that he's sleeping with. Mm. You talk to your friend. We seen him in Walmart. He confronted his friend. We're both right there, and his friend told him to his face. I think of Crystal as a sister. I don't think of you as a brother, because I don't appreciate people that are married that cheats on their wives or cheats on their husbands. So mm. he might think of me as a sister, but I don't even think of him as that. I think of you as a cheater, because you was married. So you were very clear right there. Like, the person you're suspicious of, you got us both here, and we're telling you nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. Mm -hmm. Larry has taken a lot of losses. He lost his mom, his dad, his sister, his brother, family of five. He's the only one left. Oh, wow. When did, when did, he, when did he lose everyone? When was the last person that had passed? The last love person that passed was his grandma. He lost her last year. I believe it was January the 3rd. So so it's constant loss. Constant losses, back year to year. back. Yeah. So why would I cheat on him when I feel like he has kids? Yeah, but as far as up close and personal, I feel like I'm the only thing Larry has left. Got to it. cheat on him will never happen. Before I cheat on him, I will leave him. But the hurt, hurt people, hurt people. Mm -hmm. Has he always been this way, confrontational towards you? Only when people start calling, playing on his phone. And that's just because they're haters. They hate our relationship. And so that's five years ago that started? That's about five years ago, five or six years ago, yeah. So has he ever spoken to somebody on the phone that said, hey, I'm sleeping with your wife, I'm no, talking to your wife? No, they'll call him, according to him, because I've never heard it, he'll say they'll say something and hang up, or they'll whisper and hang up. No, speak up. So listen, why did Larry... And my producer told me that Larry put cameras up in your house last month? We put cameras outside the house. I encouraged it, because people were telling him that when he leaves and go to work, I'm sneaking people in his man cave. The man cave is back that's there. His, that's his the man shed. cave yes. right there. Uh -huh. Telling him that um, I'm sneaking people in the man cave. I'm cooking, him, cooking people breakfast. Like, put the cameras up. 
All right, well, in the video, um, Larry mentioned something about a porn video. Oh, Did yeah, you know? I'm on porn. He, Of course, apparently me and... Because that's a strong accusation to say about your wife accusation. of 15 years. Yeah, and evidently, I'm doing porn between the hours of 7 and 3.30. In the morning? In, in, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. With him on the phone. Got he it. has to be on the phone because he can oh, call Oh, because at nighttime, y'all together. Because so we're together. When, at work, so, when I'm off porn. work, we're together, so I can't be doing it then, so it has to be during my work hours. I work at a retirement home. Camera's up everywhere. No way. I got mm -hmm. time to do some damn porn. Yes. But <laughs> I'm doing porn, some site called Reddit. We're, I'm doing porn, and apparently we're sending it to his phone for confirmation. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So he's saying that you're on Reddit doing porn? Is I've that... never even heard of Reddit <laughs> until he brought it up. Yeah. I, I'm not too familiar with Reddit, but I don't believe Reddit's a porn site, right? I've it's never like, even heard. People just go in there and share information, yeah. correct? I've okay. never even I heard thought of Reddit. So. Yeah. Have these accusations ever made you feel like maybe I want to leave? Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Yeah. Who Have wants to keep being accused? Yeah. I don't want to keep being accused of something that I did not do. And, but me telling you that I didn't do it, that's not enough. Yeah. It's not right. enough. I get it. Well, listen, everyone, I'm ready to hear what Larry has to say about all of this. Everyone, please welcome Larry to the show. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Karama? I'm good, man. Thank doing you for being here. All right. All right, listen, you told my producers that you have brought me receipts. What are these receipts? What yes, these? sir. I, I need receipts. to see these receipts. Me too. And you said you saw a porn of It's a whole video. Co-workers have Larry convinced his wife is cheating. Rumors of her sneaking me into my man cave. Could it actually be true? It's not right. I shouldn't have to go through all of this to prove something to my husband. The truth is about to be unlocked, and you won't believe what happens. Larry mentioned something about a porn video. Oh, Did yeah, you? I'm on porn. He asked, that's a strong accusation to say about your wife accusation. of 15 years. We put cameras outside the house. I encouraged it because people were telling him that when he leaves and go to work, I'm sneaking people in his man cave. I've never cheated on him. I have no reason to cheat on him. I love him. You told my producer that you have brought me receipts, because I need to see these receipts. Me too. This, this is, does, <laughs> Larry, these ain't your receipts, are they? They're all my receipts, Mr. Karamo. Larry, this is blurred out. Can this, I see the receipts? This is, this is, this is blurry. Uh, this is Karamo. Do y'all see me? What am I looking at? Mr. Karamo. Yeah. What am I looking at, Larry? What you looking at is when I, when I go on Google Lens, Google went on Lens. Google Lens, clicked on my wife's picture, it pulls up. That picture right there, but also you, but another man. But you can't man. see anything. No, that's why I never, never ever claimed that to be her. I only asked her quick, simple questions about situations. It's Instead crazy. of ever giving me an uh, explanation for being your husband, I, I think I deserve me. an explanation. She chooses to grab up and go crazy about it. I, I don't know. Don't ask me nothing. Don't, don't ask me. Don't ask me nothing. If this is what you see, don't ask if me nothing. That's the explanation I get. Then you leave it up here to whatever I think then. So if she was to say, baby, that's not me. He wouldn't hear that. Would you hear that? No. I have to yell and scream and go berserk. He hears me then. I want to ask you. I'm asking you, would you hear that? If she said... Yes, sir, I will hear that. And you would receive true. it. But just because she say it ain't doesn't mean it leaves the brain So he did not hear that. He didn't hear it. What, what other pics did you see on Google? It's another one. It's another pitch when, I, like I say, when I click on her face, it shows a woman in the background with her ass up. Mind you. Butt naked. So this girl got a bad shape. I want that to know, me. is that my wife? I want to know. So I asked. Now, mind you, the same day in question, she claimed I stole her headphone. So we couldn't communicate that day. And they say stole my headphones. I couldn't She's, find my... I know oh, where I put my headphones. Oh, this day where I have your headphones, headphones the same day of question. Where are my headphones at? Well, you know, I take them to work every day. I have them on the nightstand. When I go to get my headphones, they're not there. Where are my headphones? I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't know either, but I know where I put them. Yeah, Ms. Caramo, you don't know that day, the day of question. So you said sure. something that I got to go back to. You said that... She's lied about stuff. Is there other things she's lied about to you? She has lied about plenty of things to me. Like what? Like, I wake up, ding, ding, the phone. Look, booking.com confirming, confirming your stay. I'm like, well, are you staying, booking hotel rooms? No, no, no. Is and that true? Just be all kinds Have you of booked stuff. Ho secret hotel rooms? No. And you said you saw a porn of her on Reddit? On Reddit, I went... I wake up one morning, I don't have a Reddit account. And neither do I. So when I wake up my phone, I got two Reddit messages. Mm -hmm. So when I, what's Reddit? I click on Reddit, it's a whole video 
So as I'm looking... That's a confirmation that I need it. Uh, so I do looking... porn, and I send it to my husband oh, to confirm. Oh, you're going to let me talk. Then you have your moment. Are you going to let me talk, or are you okay. going to talk over there? I just want to Do you want to tell the whole that. story, or can I tell mine? You, you can tell it. Like I said, when I clicked on Reddit, that I see a whole porn video. Mind you, the guy that's in question is the one that posted the video. So Whoever when I'm looking... Hmm, you see hmm. me. Of course you're not going to be blamed, because if I seen you, I wouldn't have to come here. Okay? So, but, but you've been I'm with your wife for 15 on... years. Do you, it wasn't her body. You know your partner's body. I know my partner's body. And like yeah. I say, they blurred it out good. What, what, what made me really feel like it was my wife, at the end, it say, do you, you want, want some tacos? tacos? <laughs> I'm like, tacos? I yeah, got your tacos. tacos. That, was my, that, was my, that was my first initial first. Tacos? I got tacos. Then the very you next... You're not giving me tacos. God, can I talk? You're not giving me tacos after The next one. day, the first thing is on, on Reddit is, I, I sent the receipts in when she asked me, do I want a taco? Rumors of her sneaking me in my man cave, cooking breakfast for him. Could it actually be true? It's not right. I shouldn't have to go through all of this to prove something to my husband. The truth is about to be unlocked. Are you ready for this? Yep. And you won't believe what happened. My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. Sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He doesn't it. have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. Dad, I see a whole porn video. Mind you, the guy that's in question is the one that posted the video. What made me really feel like it was my wife, at the end, it say, do you, you want, want some tacos? tacos? <laughs> I'm like, the next day, she asked me, do I want a taco? The person in the porn said, do you want a taco? And then the next day, ironically, she said, do you want a taco? The next day, ironically, <laughs> the person posted back oh, on Reddit. Not me. When, a, when, when, a, when, a, when she asked, do you want a taco? The person, not me. I didn't say anything so about the person, a taco. Okay, that's a little convoluted right there. No, no. Yeah. Do you think that a lot of this stuff that's popping up on the phone could be just spam? That you 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 get? It's, it's mighty coincident. It's but, mighty coincident, Mr. Karamo. All right. So you've heard rumors about her as well. What are the rumors you've heard? Rumors of her sneaking me in my man cave. Do you imagine how hard it is to go to work and feel like your Gotta wife have men in your home cooking breakfast for him? He claiming to be laying up in your bed. But isn't she at work as well? That's what she claimed. He's on the phone with me. Listen, when you got a job and you could tell me your cat didn't lick his paw this morning I'm tired and they of let this. you right I'm, off, I'm tired that's of it. what it, that's I'm, what I'm it tired is. Of it. So it, it I have sense. reasons. I have seen. I couldn't. I didn't submit this, but when you schedule eighty hours, but you're only working forty six. Because I'm trying to get off work to be with your ass. Uh, why? We we why? Fit, we've been together forever. You don't have to get off the work to be for me. So you told my producer that you don't um, you don't accuse Crystal that you just ask her questions. I don't accuse. I never come home and say you doing this. I know you doing that. I say Crystal, what's going on? Or how blah, do I blah, feel? Blah. How am I supposed to feel when I know I didn't do Lord it? I feel accused. Was... Yeah. It no. feels like an accusation. If I know I didn't do it and I know I didn't do it, it's an accusation. I'm tired of the accusation because I know I did not do it. It's, it's to me, it's not an accusation. It's how I feel. To him. Yeah. You, it's to how him, I feel. Only I gotta feel like this. Karama. It's not an accusation when you're only asking a question. Asking okay? is more... If, 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 if there's a pattern of the same a question pattern. being asked, then it does become an accusation. Well, if it's, it's a accusation. pattern of the same actions, then it becomes the same questions asked. Accusation. Well, that is true. <laughs> you're lying yeah. too, but, but in this case... Yeah, I see how you just flipped that, but that, that ain't right here. Yeah. Listen, I see how you flipped that, but that ain't yeah. right here, all right? I'm telling you. I just want to know, why don't you believe your wife? It's been 15 years at this point. Karamo. No trust. Karamo. No trust. When did, when, did, when did the trust get broken for you? 
Four years since the accusation started? Four years started when I first got a phone call about her and my best friend messing around. She won't tell you that maybe two, three weeks prior, I had already asked her, look, is anything going on between y'all two? Mm -hmm. And the only thing I got was, Mr. Karamo, uh, run in the bathroom, shut the door, mm -hmm. and shut it down. I mean, I have an opinion already on this, but I want to hear what my audience thoughts on this. I'm going to take this to the comments. <laughs> Okay, so what is your what is your thoughts on all this? For me right now, it sounds like I don't like to judge, but it sounds like like a paranoia situation. Like, you know what I mean? Because I I'm hearing it, and I experienced that before, where you might you might think something's going on, but you can't get that proof. But right now, this sounds like some some case of paranoia going on. Thank so, you for that. Do you think you're exhibiting a little bit of paranoia, Mr. Cromo? I could have a little case of paranoia because I love the woman so much. I hate the loser, and I love him the same. I'm big on language. Language is very important to me. Yes. It's the reason that I got into this work to be able to help people. You just said, I have a fear of losing her. Yes. I want to make sure that it's clear. Yes. Because fear of losing someone can lead to paranoia. Yes. And we're going to de delve into a little bit more. Does anybody else have a thought on this? What's your thought? I just want to know, are you happy in your marriage? I'm very happy. Are you sure? I'm very happy. Because, I mean, it just seems a little bit like you're making her self-humiliated. Mm. That's how it feels. Yeah. Like, That's you brought her here, she did everything for you, and well, you're still not, Well, well let's, you know. let's correct that. She brought me here. Thank you. I brought him here for Thank a reason. Thank you so much. Yeah. But, but this is a good question. If you say you're happy, and yet she, she's saying to you, I'm not doing anything, can you understand that this is humiliating for your wife? Very. Mr. Karama, what is it for a person to tell a lie? Just because she says these things, Ms. Karamo, if I didn't have things to go on, then I would feel totally Have you stupid. ever cheated on her? No. So, because I'm about to get open, I'm about to unlock this phone so we can get to the answer to this. Larry, if we find something in Crystal's phone, will that make you end this marriage? If we find out that my wife has been cheating, I can live with that somewhat. Okay. But if I find out my wife been cheating and sleeping in my home, my man cave, while I go to work and pay hard bills for, Oh, it's going to be a different Please discussion. Please unlock this phone. So, so if she has cheated, Please you can unlock stay. This phone. But if she's cheated and been in the house, then it's a problem. Yes. Got it. Okay, I understand. So let's unlock this phone. Let's unlock this phone. This is not right. I should have to go through all of this to prove something to my husband. Is this marriage about to be over for good? You tell him he believes it. I tell him it means nothing. Are you ready for this? Yep. You won't believe what happens next. You are the cop. Get off my stage. <laughs> Larry, if we find something in Crystal's phone, will that make you end this marriage? If we find out that my wife has been cheating and sleeping in my home, my man cave, while I go to work and pay hard bills for, oh, it's gonna be a different Please discussion. Please unlock this phone. So let's unlock this phone. Let's unlock this phone. Well, listen, it's time to find out what we found in Crystal's phone. All right. When it came to GPS, we found zero suspicious activity. She has always been where she said she'd been at the time, based on pings of where her phone was. Okay? So, all the questions about, is she at work? You saying she's coming home early. She's always been at work. She's always been where she said she was. All right, when it comes to... All right, when it comes to photos, we did find one nude photo. But that photo was sent to you, Larry. That was a photo she sent to you. Now, when it came to text messages, this one I did find interesting. We did find 15 text messages. But these text messages, Larry, were from you accusing your wife of consistently cheating, even though every time the phone pinged, she was at work. I want to pull, and this is since January 1st, I saw these 15 texts. I want to pull these up. This is you. 
Baby, you wouldn't happen to be on a local dating site to keep it popping on my phone, meet local men. I knew that wasn't me. Just asking, and somehow I wish you could um, you could dead all your sites. Just feel like people are going to try to um, still try to contact you. Baby, I am not on any kind of dating site. Not one. Never have. I've told you something not right. Because okay, baby, just asking. So you're sending her an accusation. Can I see the other one? You just a liar. How did I start something by asking you? Why you look at your schedule and start rubbing your hands, this becomes abusive in language. This is what you're sending to your wife, who has told you over and over again that she's not doing anything. What is going on in your mind right now? It's not right. I should have to go through all of this to prove something to my husband that I told him. It take, you tell him that he believes it. I tell him it means nothing. How am I supposed to take that? That's not right. Do you see the pain that this is causing your wife? I do, I do. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, it's, it's what I feel at the time, Grandma. Larry, the thing is, is every time you ask her, you're accusing her, and you're, you're, you're causing damage in your, in your damage. relationship. You're damaging your, your relationship. You're damaging a woman who has been true to you, who loves you. And, and the thing is, is that I started asking specific questions. Yes. And you gave me my own conclusion without me even having to go any deeper. Yeah. During this time, you've lost a lot of family members. Yes. And I'm so sorry about that. But what's happening is that as you started losing family members, there's something that sometimes happened to us as human beings where we feel like someone else is going to leave us. Yeah. So when we feel like they're going to possibly leave us, we start to push them away ahead of time. I need you to, I need you to hear this. Yes. You're trying to push away your wife so that you don't feel like someone else is gonna leave you. Your own words to me were, I fear losing her. Yes. But your wife is letting you know you're not losing her. She is here for you. She's trying to do everything she everything. can to prove to you she's there, for, she's there for you. I understand that you are grieving so much loss, and I don't even think you start to process all the loss that you've experienced. Yes. Am I right? You're right, you're right. Who are you being able to talk to about all this loss? Nobody. No one. Nobody. I want to offer you some therapy to start dealing with the grief that you've been experiencing. Yes. Would you accept that? Yes. 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 Thank you for your question. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad you accept that therapy because yes. I think it's going to be a big thing for you to, to really start to help you to grow mm -hmm. and to start to process all the grief you're experiencing. Awesome. Yes. And I think it's also going to be good for you to have him being able to talk to somebody because you don't deserve to be in this position. But I honor you as a woman that still is committed to her man and standing by her man, even it's though he's my, my baby. <laughs> yeah, I honor you. You got a good woman here. Thank don't you. push her away. Thank Thank you. You're, welcome. You're, welcome. You're welcome, baby. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, everyone, stay with us. We'll be right back with more. So he was married when you all got together. Yeah, he still is married. Right? He still hasn't divorced his wife, and it's been six, six years. years. What will happen to this couple? This is the final straw. After the whole truth comes out. Oh, that was my best friend. No one does nosy better than me. Photos. We found 378 oh, photos. He could what he do, because I don't know how he fell there. He's a year as a snooping, OK? I know you nosy too. Head over to Nosy where you can watch full episodes of The Karamo Show and be nosy with me. My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. Sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He doesn't it. have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B.
Candace has been with her fiance Jason for six years, but she has spent her entire relationship feeling like second place. Candace has caught Jason sending messages to other women online, and now she wants to know what else Jason has been hiding from her. Jason asked for my help to unlock his phone to prove his innocence. Everyone, please welcome Jason's fiance, Candace, to the show first. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Can I have a hug? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please take a seat for me. All right, so Candace, um, why do you think Jason is hiding things from you? Because I believe that he is secretly talking to other women behind my back. Why do you think that? Because of um, he was deleting messages and hiding stuff from me. So take me back. How did you two meet? We met over 10 years ago mm -hmm. when he was still married to his wife. Oh. And we oh. were all good friends. Uh -huh. I was um, dating another guy and he was friends with him and everything. So we got to meet that way and we just kept talking and once he left his wife and everything, me and him shortly after that, we got together. Oh. And we've been together every since. Okay then, so he was married when you all got together. Yeah, he still is married right now. He just hasn't been divorced yet. Oh, okay. Yes. So you got together, he was with the wife and you were with somebody else. You felt the, the feelings and yes. then you got together when they were done and he still hasn't divorced his wife and it's been six, six years. years? Yes. Okay. I think he's kind of waiting for her to do the paperwork. That's what I've been hearing for years. For her to do it? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so was the beginning of your relationship rocky? Yes, it okay. was. Um, he was still telling his wife how much he loved her mm. and everything. And I just told him just to go home and go be with his wife and his kid if that's where he wanted to be. Mm. And then we split up for like a couple of months. And then after that, we got back together and he was still talking to other women because his wife always allowed him to. Oh, his wife did? Yeah, and I'm the type I don't like to share. Mm -hmm. So the two of you split up in 2020, right? Yes. Tell me about that time. Um, he was talking to another woman and everything, and he was gone within three days and gone with her, and they were in a relationship within three days after he left me. Oh, okay. And how long before y'all got back together at that point? Um, it was about three months three after months that. Three months that he was gone and then you all got back together? Yes. Why are you taking him back? Because I love him and I try to make it work. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. Just our love? Love and trying to make things work okay. and trying to get over the hump. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm here today. Okay. Is he on TikTok a lot? Yes, he is. He T was on there like a year before me. Uh-huh. And I joined TikTok because he kept telling me, oh, you don't want to go on TikTok, it's not all that. And so out of my curiosity, I got on TikTok and made my own and then I seen what kind of girls he had on there. Mm. And it was about girls with their <laughs> hanging out, their butt hanging out and sexual stuff and that just really upset me. Okay. Well, listen everyone, there's always two sides to every story and I think it's time that we hear Jason has to say about all of this. Everyone, please welcome Jason to the show. Hey, Jason. How are you doing, man? Can I give you a hug? Sure. All right, so Jason, how do you feel about what you heard? A lot of it is uh, not true. Mm hmm. So you're saying you don't cheat at all, that you're no. not going behind her back? No. So you see things differently in what way? In a lot of ways, all I'm really doing on TikTok is watching videos. Okay. Um, it's not sexy women like yeah, she it is. says. Yeah, it is. The women that are actually I'm following now, she puts them on my phone no, and started accepting No, I only did four of those. Them. I only did four of those. Right. The rest those of them are the you only deleted. ones that are on there. So okay. you put actually some of the women on his phone? You oh, made yeah. him follow them? I did because I already seen what kind of women he already had on there. So I just started adding different women. I'm like, well, if this is what you like, then I'm gonna just start adding them all. Oh. Our studio out. audience is to about to sound off. But that does lead to a bigger question. Why are you not divorced yet? Two phones are about to be unlocked. What this is the phone? final straw. And this relationship is about to hang in the balance. Where a photo was sent. Oh, that was my best friend. You are 
Why do you think Jason is hiding things from you? Because I believe that he is secretly talking to other women behind my back. We met over 10 years ago mm -hmm. when he was still married to his wife. Oh. He still is married right now. He just hasn't been divorced yet. Is he on TikTok a lot? Yes, he is. And then I've seen what kind of girls he had on it. The women that are actually I'm following now, she puts them on my phone. I did. This is what she liked. Then I'm going to just start adding them all. Oh. A lot of it is me sitting at the end of the bed. I'm an injured worker. I have a bad back and a bad neck. Mm -hmm. I had 300 pounds of rebar struck me and really injured me pretty Sorry. bad. So I can't sit up in a bed like a normal person. I sit like he this normally. He does it all the normally. time now. All the time And there's now. nothing to hide. He no. leans back in the bed and looks at his phone. But then when he knows there's something going to be there, he turns his back. Is that true? And goes up to the edge of the bed and leans over. I don't try to hide anything. It. I just go to the end of the bed to check my phone. If she ever wants to sit next to me and check when my I phone do, you... for me, I'd gladly give it to her anytime. time. Well, you... No, you don't. Do you really delete messages on your phone? I only delete... Um, yeah, you do. Text messages yeah, that do. are, like, old. You know, like Verizon shopping things like yeah, that. Right. That send me text give messages. Give me a break. You don't buy any of this? No, I don't. So, for the record, have you ever cheated on no. Candace? No. Not once? Not once. <laughs> okay. So then why does she feel like you have? Because when we split up the first time... In 2020? In 2020, I left her. I didn't leave her for I moved yeah, into her house that she had a room there for rent. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I was exhausted with the messages that she was getting on her phone by this <laughs> man by the name of... So she was saying she was getting messages on her phone. Yeah, yeah, from a friend. Every time he's in town, he gets a hold of her. I'm in town. Can we no, meet? No, he's not. No, he's not. And so that's why you felt like, I want to end this, and you went over to... You're saying this woman you went with was just a friend. She was just a friend. No, she wasn't. Okay. No, she wasn't. You wouldn't be hiding it when, if it was just a friend. Mm. So you told my producers that you do delete messages, but it's to avoid... Arguments. Arguments, yeah. No, because it it's ain't. every day that I wake up, from the time that I wake up to the time that I go to bed, no. I have to hear an argument and I have to well, hear yeah, how many women, women I've been with, how many women I'm yep. out there with while she's at work. While she's at work, she has a camera well, in the house. Gone. And she you're watches me gone. on camera all the time. Is you're that true? always gone. Always every time gone. I leave for work, you take off. Yeah, I go get a coffee, I come home, and I watch your mom for you. <laughs> Well, wow, because I go to work. I work. Yeah, I understand and that. And support us. I understand that. Well, I want to see what the audience has to say about this. Y'all got some comments? Yeah. We're going to take the comments real quick. Seriously. Come on, tell me what your thoughts are. Girl, I'm sorry. Candace, if he was married to someone when you first met, you already deserve better than that. Like. Give yourself some credit and give yourself a backbone because you need to get out of there. Mm -hmm. You need to get away from him. In all fairness, though, in all fairness, though, you did make a choice as a grown woman to get into a relationship with a man that you knew yeah. was getting out of a relationship. Sure did. So sometimes I feel like the insecurities that come up in us is like, especially the way we get them, sometimes the way we lose them, yeah. so that will start to come yeah. into your mind. Yeah, I agree. You're saying? Um, but that does lead to a bigger question. Why are you not divorced yet? Seriously. The reason why is because I'm waiting for the paperwork to be finished. It should be done in three months. Six years of this. Six years. That is an excuse. Six years. So why are you not divorced? Because there's, it can't be paperwork. Because you could get this done He wants now. his wife to pay for it. Can you see how you being married could be affecting the trust issue that you have in a relationship. I don't see why it would. Because if I have one foot in and I have one foot out, at some point I'm not know what direction my man is going on. <laughs> so just like you know, I found out my producers are always on it. We found out that the filing fees for a divorce in Washington State is only two hundred eighty dollars. I'll give you that myself. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Thank 
Thank you. Because my only goal here, my only goal here is for y'all to have a healthy relationship. So right. if that could be a piece that would get you a healthy relationship, brother, I'll pay that myself. <laughs> so what is, your, what is your response now? My response is I'll get a divorce. That never stopped me, you know? Never... But you said it was the fees. So yeah. I'm going to pay the fees for you. Okay. So will you get a divorce? I will. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. You heard that? <laughs> Kenneth, do you believe it? No. Because I'm always told one thing and it's always another. Well, listen, everyone, it's time to reveal the unlock the phone results. Candace, let's get to your results right here. So, Candace, we unlocked your phone. Okay. Two phones are about to be unlocked. This is the final straw. Yeah. Because it is. I'm tired of being blamed. And this relationship is about to hang in the balance. Where a photo was sent and we can't see what it was. Oh, that was my best friend. So, for the record, have you ever cheated on no. Candace? No. Not once. Not once. <laughs> because when we split the first time, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I was exhausted with the messages that she was getting on her phone. Yeah, yeah. from a friend. Every time he's in town, he gets a hold of her. I'm in town. Can we no, meet? No, he's not. Well, listen, everyone, it is time to reveal the unlock the phone results. Candace, let's get to your results right here. OK. So we look for DMs, apps, and text messages. When it came to DMs, Candace, we found zero DMs. When it came to apps and any suspicious behavior in your apps, we found zero apps. When it came to text messages, Jason, you specifically wanted us to look for messages between you and two other men. We did find three messages. But those messages were actually found from you, Jason, consistently accusing her. Mm -hmm. So these are your text messages to each other. You say, why do you treat me like this before I have to go to work? And then you say, all I did was ask a question. Yeah. And then you say, no, you started to blame me for everything. And then you said, I ask a question. And yep. then you say, yeah, but you still talk to him behind my back, and that will never change. Um, Which is not you, true. So you are still concerned and talking to her about these two people yeah. that we went through the phone, and there was nothing suspicious or any messages with these men in a way that could alarm us in any way. Did you check Facebook Messenger? We checked them all. They checked it all. Just we like went they through did DMs. You. We went through everything. And you got to remember, with our phone investigator, we do go through things that have been deleted as well. Yep. So. We see now that a lot of the accusations are coming from you. I've been burnt in the past. Yes, yeah, so have okay. I. And so is she. And I understand that. She's had a lot of people that have treated her like crap. And I never wanted to get to this point. I never wanted to come on a TV yeah, you show did. and you're tell You're the one that called. Yeah, you're absolutely you're right. You're the one this that This is called. the final straw. Yeah, Because I'm tired of being blamed all the time. All right. Well, Jason, now we have on the results of your Unlock the Phone. Jason, here it goes. So we checked DMs, apps, and photos. Photos? Yep. When it came... <laughs> yeah, we checked photos. Okay. Whoops. When it came to DMs, we found three suspicious messages from other women on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You want to explain that to her? Yeah, because women DM me all the time. Yeah, and you all interact the with them too. No, you're, I do not. You're adding them and going I through their Facebook. I erase them because yeah, I, know I know they're going to keep getting on to me. Okay. Every single time <laughs> they DM me, I will erase it. All right, when it came to apps, yep. we found 22 sexy TikTok accounts yep. that you are engaging with. Engaging? Oh, like yeah. talking? Yep. You're no. like following, following back. Oh, commenting she followed a yep. lot of the women on no, my page. No, it ain't all those. Only put four on your phone. Well, the rest because were there before we even got all. together. That's No, it's not. Sorry. All right, well, listen, we're going to continue on. When it came to photos, we went through to look for any sexually explicit photos. Uh -oh. We did find 100 photos. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, the sexually explicit photos, yes, we went through, were between the two of you. Of course. Yeah. There was a lot of, I didn't see him sending any explicit photos to anyone else or anything okay. else. 
There was, the, in those messages, there was ones where you sent your photo, though, to other women. Really? I sent my photos to somebody? Yeah, I have one in really? evidence bag. Can we see that one? Wow. 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 So here it goes right here. Thanks for the compliments. Can I have some pictures of you? Send oh, of course. Away. So these are the it's messages the that he sent. Mm -hmm. Who? And this one's from Instagram. Where a photo was sent and it was liked, but we can't see what it was. Oh, that was my best friend. I didn't even know they were friends at the oh, time. Oh, yeah, you did. Why would you send a photo to a friend? Because she asked for a photo. I she already knew you. Why would yeah, she I need a photo? Yeah, I know that. I don't freaking, I don't know. You all came here because you want my opinion. Yeah. yeah. It's unhealthy. Yeah. And Very you two, unhealthy. You two are grown. Yeah. Grown folks dealing with the, th the things that I've talked to clients or guests about who are in their 20s. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook, these things, sending photos. The, the, the lack of trust I already see Very where much. it started. Yeah. It started from the way that you all got together. You were in a relationship, you were in a relationship. That already sets off you on a path of unsteadiness, un un yeah. mistrust from right. the beginning. Right. Because it's like, I already think like, I already know what you were doing with me when I had a wife and yeah. you had a boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. We were flirting and talking to each other. And so that mistrust has grown beyond that. And you all are just in a cycle of accusing each other yeah. over and over again. Over and over. You're with this, no, you're with this woman, you're with yeah. this woman. What needs to happen is if you really want to stay together, because I can already tell that I can tell y'all to break up, y'all not gonna do it. There's a codependency no. here that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I can see that. But if you want to get back on the right path of trust, you got to be able to look at her and say, I'm sorry for accusing you. I'm sorry for self-sabotaging. I do apologize to you, and I'm sorry for that. I don't want you to be hurt. I don't want you to think that I don't love you either. Commit right, to doing you gotta what? you got to do a lot more. you got to pick up the pace. Got to. Hold on, we're back on you now. We're back on you now. You're not, you're not, you're not writing this either. <laughs> I know. Okay. I know. I've done my part. Because at I've the same because at the same time you say you want this, you love him, you say that I need this, you're accusing him left and right too. Well, yeah, because I have reasons too. What well, in the right beginning there you just did, told me. In the beginning you didn't have reasons. I didn't see anything in his phone where he's actually slept with someone. And so you have to understand that you can't accuse him either and make these things and say, oh my gosh, you're sleeping with every woman out there. You're wanting to stay. You're I wanting do. to stay. So, if you're wanting to stay, then you have to say, I'm not going to keep accusing you either. I'm not going to keep accusing you either. Transparency will allow you all to get healthier. He committed to something. You've committed to something. Be more transparent, and I hope that it works out for you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, okay? All right, friends. Thank you for being with us. Come back next time so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you all.